Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna continue on, but before we go to Jen's turn, I just double checked the rules, because I did think that was weird, attacking a zone without a mobile headquarters, and I looked at the rules a bit more closely, and yep, you cannot seize control unless you have a mobile headquarters nearby. So, I have to redo the last turn. Sorry, I know it drives people nuts, but I'm gonna have to redo my last turn. Although I'm still gonna do pretty much the same thing. It's just I'm gonna have to do it down here instead of up there. So. The first thing I did was, you recall, I called in, what was his name? Um, where, where'd he go? Oh yeah, this guy. I called in good old Rel here. And instead of putting him up here at the Die Star, I put him down here because you can put up to two ambassadors in a given station. So it was fine for me to put him down here. And then remember, his special power was Explore Facility. And so when I did that, I um, explored down here. And I found this little guy. Okay, right? No, so uh, fine. And let's see, so I gotta put this back because I haven't done it yet. Er, there we go. And then when I explored this, it says, hey, explore another facility on an adjacent region. You can pay money. And so I did this again anyway. And I went on ahead and I explored this. And let's say I put it, um, oh, I think I'll put it over here in the T pack zone. Now that means that anything that's in the TPAC zone, you cannot move mobile headquarters onto it. You have to attack from adjacent. All right, so anyway, so I put this down and I still went on ahead and paid my one resource so I could get the two resources. And then finally, the last thing I did is say, hey, I put this, seize control on an adjacent non-control facility. So I'm gonna come back here and gonna try and seize control of this. And I get to add plus one to my total. So I am going to, now here's the thing, because my mobile headquarters is adjacent, it's, if it were on it, I'd get to roll a yellow. But since it's adjacent, I get to roll a white. I'm still gonna use the two dice things I had previously. So I'm rolling a white and two um, green, and I have plus one. So I'm still pretty sure I'm gonna get it, even though I didn't do it in the war zone. So here we go, and I gotta beat a four. Whew, yes, okay. I did, I got a seven, plus one is eight, so easy peasy. And so I'm still now going to establish a base over here. It's just it all had to happen down here because it had to be next to my mobile headquarters. Okay, so that had been my final turn. Hooray, oh, and I'm still going to have rotated this like this so that I was able to get another green to defend myself in case Jen, because Jen has one more action now. And I'll say I didn't even think about what Jen's last action would be. So, now she could seize control again. I mean, she always has this plus one whenever she rolls. She could try to attack my base, but here's the problem. She gets to roll one yellow for having her guy here, and she has one green if she wants to add that to the roll. I get to roll one yellow in defense, and another yellow, because having my headquarters, I get to roll two yellows versus her one. So Jen's pretty confident that she cannot beat me. Um, so what else is she gonna do? Although she could, she doesn't have to attack where she is, she could attack adjacent. She could attack this place and try to take control. Or, um, although, she'd still be having to roll her white die because it's adjacent against my yellow die, so I'd still have the upper hand. Or she could try to take this scout ship that I just discovered. Because you only have to have a two. One plus one is two. This scout ship is pretty easy to take over. So I think since it's just happened to land in Jen's lap like this, Jen is gonna go on ahead and attack here because you can always attack where your mobile headquarters is or adjacent to it in diagonal scout. So, Jen's last action, she's gonna attack and try to seize control of the scout ship. So she gets a white die, and so she needs a total of two. Now this has, and she, oh, actually she can't fail, because she gets plus one. There's no zeros on here, so Jen can't fail. So she's just gonna go on ahead and roll. Let's see what she gets, she got a one. Oh, crap! Oh, wait, 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 I forgot. She has to be, she has to get at least a three, so hold on a second. She has one, I don't think she wants to fail. She is going to use this green, so she has a white and a green, and then she'll have plus one. Now she can't, unless she rolls a zero on this green and a one on this white, I don't think she can fail. Let's see what she does. All right, she did very well. Um, so that's seven plus one is eight. She has taken over this scout ship, and that increases her production of military. It's worth a point, and now she can rotate this. What does she want to do? Um. Let's see, does she want to get a resource? Does she want to get, I think, she'll rotate like this, so she gets another one of these, so she has more dice to use in future combats, instead of getting the resource. Okay, so that was it, that was Jen's third and final turn. And at the end of all of it, Jen has three bases, and I have three, so we both expanded quite a bit. And um, Jen's got two, I've got quite a bit more resources though. Um, although Jen's generating, well, well, 
Not really quite sure who's in the lead right now, but let's just go on ahead and finish this round. We've done our actions now. We have the option of sending aid to the Alliance. Okay, I'm still the first player. And um, there are these three at, at Nagia 2, Blazer 4HK, and Selenius DS2. You can see there are payment, you know, there, there's, um, there, there's, there's recipes. If you pay two of anything, you can score one point. If you have two economy, one science, and one military, you can score two points. If you have six of anything, you can score three points. These are a great way to score points towards the end of the game. And once you score these, you can never lose them. Um, you know, Jen's currently going to have a point for having this base at the end of the game, but it could get taken from her. She could lose this point. But once you do these, you can never lose those points. So I am first. And I think I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to claim Blazer 84HK. I need to give up two of any resource and I get one victory point. I'll give up one science. Mm, I'll give up two science because I'm generating more science anyway. And I have claimed this and this is going to be worth one point to me at the end of the game. And now another one comes out and now it's Jen's turn. And when you know, I took the only one Jen could have done. Jen had two military. She could have done the one, but that's the benefit of going first. And so I, I'm sorry, or, bah, I took this. Jen cannot afford any of these. There's only two military. This requires four resources. This is, you know, and so on. So Jen's going to pass because she literally can't afford any of them. And that was it, folks. We finished the first round. We move on to the second round. We reset our special power, our technologies. We reset the ambassadors that were used. They can now be used again. Although interestingly, they don't move. They stay where they were put out on the various sectors. This one's here and these two are over here. So they stay still. And now um, player order is determined by whoever has the fewest headquarters becomes first player. In this case, where we're both tied, I believe it just automatically switches. So now Jen is gonna be the first player. And the game comes with the first player marker. I don't know where it is. Must, must be in the box. I must have forgotten to put that up, pull that out because I was in a big rush. All right, anyway, though. So, Jen is now the first player heading in to the second round. Now, you can see, when we get to the third round of three, four, and five, we will unlock a bunch of additional technology cards that we can buy. We will also get rid of all of these, what are called the A's. You can see they all have a little A on them right there. These are all the A cards. When we get to round three, we'll, we'll leave A behind and we'll go to the B decks where there's a lot more cool new special powers and we'll also get uh, access to our level B abilities like um, this one. But for now, we're still in A, Bill, because we're in the second round. Jen is the first player. Let's get going. First of all, she's going to produce. She gets two military and one science. Military, military, science! Okay, and I get economy and two science. There's some money. And here is to science. Okay, we're done. Now we draw. I have I have no cards left in my hand. Jen still has two, so Jen is going to draw two cards. Let's see. She's got this. That's her immediately seize control and seize control of an adjacent facility controlled by an opponent. He may not use any tokens. Oh wow! So if Jen uses this, I don't know if she has this. If Jen uses this to initiate seizing control of my places, I won't be able to use my token to defend defend myself. So that's really interesting. So Jen's got those, but she's got to draw two more now. Um, you know, I think she'll draw an economy one. What the heck? And another. Uh, right. So and now me, I've got to draw four. I'm just gonna draw one of each. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Four. So I just got a little bit of everything. All right, there we go. So we've both drawn. Now we explore a facility and um, Jen is gonna go first. So she's got these four facilities. Which one is she going to explore? Let's see if I, all right, so this asteroid drill. She would immediately get two bucks and if placed adjacent to a facility that you control, get one resource. So you, I mean, if Jen puts it over here, she would immediately get a science. If she puts it over here or here, she would immediately get another military. And you know what's interesting? She's got three military. One more military or one more science, and she could build another mobile headquarters, which is worth a point and gives her a lot more power. Let's see. So, and this one gives her money, but it would have let her get another military or another science. So that's an interesting one to explore. Although, there, remember, there was this one, which was just really attractive, because you, you do it, and you immediately seize control. And it's got two arrows, so Jen would immediately get to... Um, yeah, I think she's going to... This is what she is going to explore. And you know what? She'll explore over... Yeah, she'll explore over here. And so, the last of these have been collected. And that means this gets removed. So, hey, now there's a new place we can explore. 
and be, and so she immediately seizes it. So she's got another base, and now she can rotate it to get stuff. She already has two greens, so she doesn't need this. So does she want to move her mobile headquarters, or does she want a victory point? I think she'll go this way so she can get a resource, and the resource she'll take will be a science. All right, there we go. So that was Jen's exploration, and a very successful one it was, because she um, found the Harbinger Temple that she immediately sees control over. Quite nice. Okay, now I get to explore as well. I don't even know what I have. Let's take a look at what I got. I've got a free port, get to um, science. If you do not control an adjacent facility, also get a, now this is a, um, a different type. This lets you re-roll in combat if things go bad. This lets you get plus two and you'd get both of these. You'd get, oh wow, that would give me a lot. Of, although, unfortunately, I can only hold two things. So I would only be able to have, so it's kind of wasteful to do it right now. I think I'll save that for later. Um, let's see here. A stellar sentinel. Get two military. If there's no military headquarters on adjacent facility, also get a resource. So that'd be kind of nice, just to get some more resources. Asteroid, get science. You may explore a science facility. Ah, now this is a bummer. I don't have any other science facilities. So I cannot do a one-two with this. So I don't think I'll do that one. And then uh, send aid to the alliance. So I would immediately get to do one of these send aids and I have to pay one less. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, it's down to one of these two. Do I want to get... Um, three resources, which would let, let me get a mobile headquarters or let me get some more power or, you know what, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do the ship breaking yard. So this goes back to my hand. I'm going to explore this sucker. And, um, right, and it doesn't matter where I put it. I'm just going to send aid to the, I'm going to have the option of sending aid immediately to the Alliance. Where do I want to put it? I will put it, well, I'll just put it in this recently um, exposed area of space. Because it's next to me. All right, okay, so, so ship, uh, uh, ship breaking yard, send aid to Alliance paying one less than normal. So I got a whole bunch of stuff. I think this one costs six, but right now it only costs me five. I'm just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do, eh, oh, but if I, if I, oh, I don't have enough. This is interesting. If I do this, then I won't have enough to buy a, a, any of my technologies. But I've already got a technology that I can use to good effect. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna spend all but, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to keep a military because currently I don't generate any military. And I'm going to send aid to Nagia 2, which is worth three points I just scored. All right. And a new one comes out. Okay. So, I mean, I've got, I'm sitting on five points over here, and these points can never be taken away from me. That's pretty nice. Okay. And that was the special ability I got to do. So we are done with the exploration. Now we can buy technology. And unfortunately, I'm broke. I can't do it. But I think Jen might. She's got plenty of stuff. Let's see. So she could do any of these three. When defending a facility, reroll one die. Um, pay one to move your mobile headquarters, just wherever you want. That's really cool. Or after you successfully seize with a really powerful overkill, which Jen did twice last time, get a free resource. Hmm. I think Jen wants to have the freedom to be able to move her mobile headquarters around a lot. All right. So she has to pay a science and one other thing. I think she'll pay uh, her other science. No, yeah, she'll pay her military. And so now she has three. If she gets one science during this, she'll be able to build this mobile headquarters. Okay. And she's got two powers now. Although, oh, no, she doesn't need this. She's going to take the other one. She's going to do this one. So if she gets attacked by me, she gets to potentially re-roll. Because here's the thing, when you build a military headquarters, you get a free movement of all your military headquarters. So having the ability to pay to move your military headquarters isn't that good if she's planning on building one anyway. Okay, so that was it. Both of us have, or let's see, Jen bought technology. I can't afford it, so I'm not going to buy technology. We both have the opportunity to move our mobile headquarters. Jen is first. Um, let's see. <sighs> Now, if Jen stays here, that's her sending a message loud and clear that she's going to keep on trying to destroy my stuff, but she's not going to. She's going to come over here because clearly she's going to start trying to conquer up there. And now I can move as well. Um, let's see here. What the heck? I'll move over here. There we go. No, I'll stay. I'll stay because <laughs> Jen is laughing at me. No, I'll move. I'll move. I'll move. All right. Okay. So, we both moved our headquarters, and now we move to the actions. Jen will be the first to do an action. And, um, let's see. So, she's going to want to try and attack this place. Uh, 
right. And, and that has one arrow. So if she successfully takes it, she'll be able to get a thing, get another reroll, or move her mobile headquarters. Or, you know what, I think first thing she's gonna do is she's just going to, like she did, she is going to, oh, 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 you know what? Jen paid, uh, she paid that extra science instead of that extra military, that was smart. First thing Jen's gonna do, before she does anything, she's gonna use her special power to get one more military. So she's got five military total. Her first action is gonna be, she is going to build this mobile headquarters, which costs five military. Now she can deploy this anywhere, I believe. I need to all check that. I think she can. Uh, da, 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 da. Build, uh, da, build, buy, build, move, seize, control, buy. Uh, excuse me, pays the cost, put that on any facility on the main board or on the Alliance base. All right, so Jen can put this any place now. If she puts this over here, she's getting to roll two yellows in the attack. But, I don't think so. I think Jen's gonna leave this one uh, over here. So she might be trying to steal this from me, as an example. Although no, if she's gonna steal anything, well, see, because this one is, is far away from my mobile headquarters now, so it'd be easier for her to take this. If she tries to steal this, Jen still, or I'm still in the neighborhood, so it'd be harder to get, because I'd be able to defend. Jen's gonna try and steal this from me. All right, so that was Jen's first um, action of three. She built another mobile headquarters. And now, after building mobile headquarters, you have the option to move any of your mobile headquarters, but I'm pretty happy where they are. They're just, or I'm sorry, Jen's happy where they are. They're both gonna stay there. Okay, and now Jen's worried she's gonna be under attack. Jen gets to do her first action. Before she does anything, she'll go on ahead and use this to get a free science. And then she'll use her special power to reset it and then do it again so she gets another free science. It's good to be the Minarine, okay. Now, I'm sorry, and again, not her, me. This is me, this is her. Ah. All right, anyway, so what are we gonna do? I should've known better. All right, what do I want? Oh, there are so many options. Okay, so I moved over here because I can either attack this place and try to beat a three, or I can just you know take it normally. Although, unfortunately, I don't have any, um, let's see, I would need two bucks to take this place, and I don't have any. Hmm, all right, so what are the other ambassadors? Okay, all the ambassadors are back. I could just get, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the old human ambassador again. I'm gonna deploy her. I'm gonna put her right back where she is, and she is gonna give me two money, or two, um, you know, two E again. All right, so there we go. So that was nice, that was my first action. I used an ambassador, and so she is uh, used up one more time. Now it is Jen's second turn. She, uh, and she'd like to call in Jor, but unfortunately she's out of military, so she's gonna have to go without his help this time. As she, um, let's see. Yeah, she needs to get four, she gets one yellow, and then she has these greens, so one yellow and one green to beat a four. That's pretty tough. Yeah, really kind of, hmm, maybe. She could use her other green and then she'd be able to re, re, you know, reclaim one of them. Now the interesting thing is if she does this attack over here instead and attacks me, she'll get one yellow. I will get one yellow because I've, I've got my own defense. And, um, she could add two greens and I could only add one. You know what, what the heck, she's gonna attack me. She's gonna try and take my base from me. Yeah, all right, so first of all, before the fight starts, everybody has to declare in player order, or first the attacker and then the defender, what um, defense they're gonna bring. I declare I'm gonna bring both of my greens. And so now Jen sees that, she says, well crap, I better bring my green too. Then, and there's a lot of greens because of this reinforcements there. If this wasn't here, we wouldn't have near as many of these greens. Okay, so we both declared. Now I'm the first one to roll. So I got my yellow for being there and my two greens and let's see. And then don't forget, I get plus one as my special power. And I got eight, nine. So here's my plus one basically. So I rolled a nine. Um, so if Jen, all right, so she's turning in her, she gets one green. Jen has to get, and uh, she has to get a nine. If she gets an eight or less, then I beat her. So let's see what she gets. Two, and that's not 20, unfortunately, that's two. So Jen failed. Um, Jen succeeded, I failed. 
Jen, the blue player, has kicked me out. So this guy comes back home. This is from a science space, so I'm now producing one less science. Jen is now producing more science using her warlike ways. And whenever you put a HQ down, you can rotate. Jen will leave it like this so she can get one of her green dice back. And now that was, you know, it looked like I was doing pretty well. And don't forget, I am doing well. I can never lose these points, but I have just lost um, this space. Okay. So that was Jen's first turn? No, that was her second action. Right. I've already forgotten what her first action was. No, it was her first action. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm losing track now. There's so much stuff going on here. And I'm running out of battery life, too. Let's see here. Um, so, what would be my next action? Oh, yeah, it must have been her second action because I remember I had called out an ambassador. So now Jen's second act, or my second action, my second action was, first my action was I made the money. Now I'm going to call out this guy, Arch Tarth. I'm going to send him over here to the shipbreaking yard. His power is establish a base paying $1 less than normal. This would normally cost me two. Now it only costs me one. So I'm going to save some money, and I've established an economic base over here at the shipbreaking yard. And now I can rotate this, and it's got two arrows, and... I'm inclined to go like this so I can get my green die back. No, no, I'll go like this. So I get my green die back and I get a resource of my choice. Let's see. I want to be thinking about what um, aid to the Alliance I could send at the end of the round. I'll take another yellow because then I've got enough to do that. All right. So there we go. That was my second action. Now Jen's third and final action. And her originally she was thinking she was going to come up here, but a four with only a yellow. I mean, what's a yellow and one green likely to give her? Well, that would have succeeded. Ah, does she want to attack again? Or, let's see, she could call in good old Ish here, draw two facility cards, keep one. Oops, and I forgot. No, yeah, I keep forgetting whether I have to pay these ones. Yeah. So Ish here, draw one, two facility cards, keep one. You may pay one science to explore that facility. So, now unfortunately, um, Jen doesn't have any science, so that's really not gonna do her much good. She doesn't have any military, so she can't call him out. She doesn't have any economy, so she can't call it any more ambassadors. What is her last action gonna be? She can't do an ambassador. She's already built, she certainly can't build another MHQ. By the way, she spent so much on her MHQ, she's not gonna have enough resources to send um, aid to the Alliance again. Ouch. But on the flip side, she's got four headquarters as opposed to my three. And what the heck, I think she is. In for a penny, in for a pound. Jen's going to go for it. Um, she is going to attack. She's on there. She gets a yellow. She's going to spend her green. She gets a green. She's got to beat a four, so she just needs a five. Oh, but she gets plus one whenever she seizes control. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was close. That's not enough, but the plus one means it's a five. Jen did it. She has gotten another military facility, and now this has one arrow. She gets, she'll put it back down here and get her green die back. Okay. She's very happy with that. She is definitely in control. And now eventually, now unfortunately, she could be getting more points if she was pointing these things up here to this guy, but she just keeps on wanting to expand more. She's got another green die she can use in a subsequent. Now I've got one more action. What am I going to do? Um, let's see. I could explore. I've got plenty of things to explore. Is there anything I'd like to explore right now? Get to science. If you do not control an adjacent facility. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, you know what? Actually, I think when I had claimed this, I will have gone like this. I still got my read, but I got the victory point and I didn't take the green. That's how I arranged this because I want the victory point instead. And for my last one, I'm going to visit good old Rel Carson. Where are you, Rel? All right, so I'm going to visit him. It's going to cost me one economy to do it. And he lets me now explore anywhere I want. And if I explore here, I get two science and two awesome die. Uh, if, I, if you do not control any adjacent facilities. So where do I not control any adjacent facilities? Like, say, down here. Because I don't control anything down here. So I put that. I immediately get two science. And I get... Two of the awesome, a reroll die and a guaranteed plus two. I would take either of those over a green die. So now, if Jen wants to attack me in the future, I am much better protected because I've got these power ups. All right, so that was my last action, thanks to Rel. So we're done with our second round. Now we can send aid to the Alliance. Jen has no money, so she's not going to do it. I've still got, do I have enough? No, I don't. That one meant I do not have. I need one more energy to do any of these. So I can't, so neither of us are going to send aid to the Alliance, but that's okay. We move on to round three. Our powers reset. Jen never had to defend, so she didn't use that one. The ambassadors reset. 
Now that Jen has more bases on the board than me, I'm gonna be first player. And now all of these Bs, or all these A's that we haven't gotten, they are removed from the game. And all the Bs come out. And also, we both get our level B technologies that we could start learning as well as the game upgrades to the B and things just get bigger and more hectic with a lot more stuff to go on. And I'm gonna stop right there because I'm almost out of juice. Okay, folks, you want final thoughts? You can hit the button in five, four, three, two, one.